dog went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked and bled him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said how tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer, shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we're light a fire, gonna roast him up. One, two, three, the one to fetch the kindlings. Thee! Interesting rhyme. Don't know you. Go away. A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You kids see anyone like that? Ain't no lassie's here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassie's got tits. They do. Heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, hide them lassies in the woods. They's dazzling the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. Listen, the girl I'm looking for, she's in trouble. I understand you might not want to help me, but you could try to help her. How you know she was here? I heard she visited the witches in the swamp. But there's no witches here. There's only frogs. And snakes. And Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. Are you one of the witches of the swamp? I hear Crookback Bog. Witch? Me? Nay. I've no broom nor owl and not one wart on me nose. Got a pretty nose. See? Gwen's got a lovely beak. Oh, you darling girl. Our oh, kids are so sweet. Who's Johnny? Johnny, Johnny ate a cat. Come the more in some furry shat. Watch your language. They tell tales and tales, naught but tales. Just talking to the kids, asked them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, I was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. Your betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter. And her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm. A bit of help, please? A young, ashen-haired woman. Just need to know if you've seen her. What are you looking at, children? Wash your hands, we'll go catch crickets. Won't learn anything from you. Aye, cos I don't know nothing. That Johnny knows. He knows a lot. When I ask him something, he says, Wait, I'll scratch my arse and tell you. Ugly word. What you saying? To the hut. You'll stand in a corner. I'll make sure you do. You. Be gone. Be gone! Can't come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. And, and strangers steal kids. Just tell me where I can find Johnny. Johnny's made up. Be gone. Be gone. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your Gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right, but you gotta do something for us too. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Let's play. You hide, but if I find you, you have to help me talk to the boy who knows Johnny. He thinks he'll find us easy. Means he's never hid from the black ones. No looking, and you have to count out loud. All your fingers, toes, too. One, two, three, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ready or not, here I come. Found you. Every last one. 
that you found me last. Let's go back to the cottage. Can we tell him I let you find me? Found you all. Now you gotta keep your word and help me talk to Johnny's friend. Why wouldn't we? Promised, didn't we? talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Because he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy, because Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There is a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This a strange tree grows there. Look around. You'll see him. Thank you. Johnny? Don't be afraid. A Luton? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess. this the place? Let me look around. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Guess I gotta make this climb. by the Pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating? My favorite words! Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise, downright glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang. So loud, it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared, out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's hut. Quick as if the crones were after her. 
I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my mom. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. What do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. Cruel. Vindictive. Not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice. Might take his life. Depends on their whim. They're nasty. Although, they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word. You must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something, or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me, and I'm no bore. Come with me. Good. It's clear. Not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Little Johnny softly gazes, fire waning pale. Pop a spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I will tell. You. You got your voice back. I did. Though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. The woman I asked about earlier. Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No. She's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well... Since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies lovely, with power o'er all, beseech I thee. Answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. Disturb our rest, woman. I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen haired girls. It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Oh, hard times are upon this white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. 
A dark power has surfaced near Downwarren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we may be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen herd maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Downwarren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. I'll talk to the alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, white one, return only once you've completed the task. Oh, I'm mistress, right. On me way. Dagger. Gotta bring the dagger. The dagger. For you. Lady told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear. Stone shear. Stone Greetings. Nice village. Aye, a real pearl of the swamps, if you say so. You get by all right? Aye, winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? Aye, master. I didn't know you belonged to them. Don't belong to anyone. Down to business. I want to get this done quickly. Ah, so that's how it's to be. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the Whispering Hill they lie. Unburied, all fathers, sons, daughters, and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. Ladies of the Wood don't know what this power is. They know all. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folk stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't ye treat this evil light. Why have you come? Why spill this blood? Are you here to grant me death? Or is my freedom your wish? Black 
as the depths of night. Such a beast, no other. Gather these and bring them here. Got some raven feathers. Find my remains and bring me a mount. A wind born a steed, a black squall turned horse. The beast and I shall be as one. As when I lived, we shall be a gale. Nothing to stop us. A wild steed from meadows moist. Where will I find your remains? My bones. They lie in a solitary mound nearby, due west. Gather what I need to free you, then return. Gather and return to the Illumix depths, to the trees' rotten heart. Pierce my heart. Let blood flow to be born again. I must first be consumed. Go now and return through the passage I have opened. Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the whispering hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? Believe me, you don't want to know. What have you done? Went up the hill, took care of the problem. The details are my concern. I truly said, I knows naught of such things anyway. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. Payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? Tis our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods... Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive... Must seek his own protectors.
Achieve your weapon, young man. In real life, you're different than you were in the tapestry. Well, bring it here. Disobeyed us once more. We are forgiving creatures, but you, you allowed the children to escape. They never wanted to flee. They liked it here. They played. Your punishment must be harsh. Now silence! We must speak to the white-haired one. The woman who cares for the kids. She's a debt to pay. She is here by choice. She's insane. She knew what our pact entailed when she made it. We helped her. She promised to serve. Now she bears our mark. Belongs to us. Come. It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. Our deal. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given, we never break. The girl. Mousy blonde. That's what they call it. Thin as a rail. Terrified. Exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. We knew someone's supposed to die. We let beast and bears saw the omens. We would glimpse her likeness, a mirage in a puddle. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the omens had spoken of. A child of the elder blood. The soul seed that would burst into flame.
tried to kill her. Tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Her blood, the taste brought back the memories of our youth. Elder blood. Extraordinary girl. But you know that. Such a shame she fled. She escaped you, but I'll find her. We'll come back here together and kill you. You'll return, you shall. Our fates are bound. And one will die, but it shan't be one of us. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if the girl will die, see you, handsome knight. Ha 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 ha!